took him to Misr. Misr is part of Egypt, not the whole of Egypt. And then they sold him to slavery. Remember? Okay. Allah says in the Quran, وَالشَّرَوْهُ They sold him. بِثَمَنٍ بَخْسٍ دَرَاهِمَ مَعْدُودًا They sold him for a few measly dirhams. Oh, oh. Oh, my. Not only is dinar in the Quran, but dirham is also in the Quran. A silver coin. Hmm? How come nobody teaches this subject? And then in Surah Al-Kahf, after the young man has slept for how long? 300 years. Solar calendar, 309, lunar calendar. Then Allah woke them up. If you sleep for 300 years and you wake up, the first thing you feel is hungry. So they sent one young man to go buy some food. فَبَعَثُوا أَحَدَكُمْ بِوَرِكِكُمْ هَذِهِ إِلَى الْمَدِينَةِ فَلْيَمْزُرَ يُهَا أَزْكَى تَعَمْ So send one with these silver coins. What if? Let him go buy some food. But let him search for that food which is not only halal but the purest possible food. And so here you are. Money is in the Quran. It's precious metals. Money is in the Hadith, the Sunnah of the Prophet It is precious metals. And when precious metals are in short supply, then it will be commodities. If you're in Cuba, huh? Cuba, and you want to bring back Sunnah money, and gold and silver in short supply, what would you use as money? No, 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 we don't want to promote tobacco. What would you use as money? Answer? Sugar. 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 Okay. What about if you go to the beautiful island of Java in Indonesia? My wife and I drove across the whole island. The beautiful island of Java in Indonesia. And you want to bring back Sunnah money? And there's a shortage of gold and silver, what would you use as money? Huh? Tea! Mikhail, I wouldn't tell anybody I heard that answer from you. <laughs> what would you use as money?